Well, indeed, OSCE has been a, a major uh, part of our diplomacy in the region, multilaterally engaging, I think, uh, something like 64% of uh, OSCE field operations is directed at uh, the Balkans region, and it's made a big difference there. Uh, over time, uh, we will see that begin to change, and Croatia is a fine example. As they uh, move into the European Union, the mission in Croatia has now completed uh, its target mission and, and uh, is closing its doors. This is a, a success story. The office of the OSCE in Zagreb finished a mandate and uh, has allowed Croatian authorities, their own institutions, to uh, take over those roles. Um, so we focus on, on right-sizing the missions in the region. I think they still have important roles to play in each of the countries. Each one individually uh, has different circumstances, different uh, conditions, and OSCE works with others in the international community, the United States, the European Union, other international organizations, to coordinate assistance, uh, training, uh, observer status, um, and offers a full range of, of activities, uh, experiences, expertise, uh, from conflict prevention to, uh, to crisis management and, and post-conflict uh, efforts. So with increased stability in the region, and we want to see things continue in, in that direction, uh, we have supported OSCE's own efforts to shift resources and uh, long-term engagement to uh, consolidate uh, the democratic gains, the focus on human rights, and look at uh, new and challenging areas in the, in the field of uh, transnational threats, for instance.